Hey hey YouTube, this is Dana 124. I wanted to talk about a few things. This is just random things, things I've seen on this YouTube. Like, I look at YouTube a lot for a lot of different things and just looking at it. You know, sometimes some, some of the people here are interesting, some of them are ridiculous. Okay. Not that I'm anyone to judge, only God can judge you. You know what I mean? But what I want to know is why is there so much racism on here? Nobody likes anybody. I mean, can y'all get over it? I mean, the person that you hate, absolutely hate, don't like because of the color of their skin, because they're big girls, because they're little girls, because they whatever, they're a bum so the heck what? Who are you? That person may be the next person that you are going to need to help you out in the long run. When you down, when you fall and you can't get up. I mean, geez, people, get it together. I mean, I, I don't know. And then I was looking on here and I seen how so many people are abusing people's kids. You beating on people's kids? Really? Really? You beating up on people's kids? I mean, what does it prove? Hmm? I mean, what did you prove? Beating up babies or you supposed to be taking care of older people and you're beating them upside the head? I mean... Family, really? They him for you, you, you would do that? You, you gonna beat on somebody? I mean, cause one day you gonna be that old person laying on the bed and you better pray to God that someone isn't giving you 10 times as worse than what you gave that person. So that is ridiculous. And if you have a child, you wouldn't want nobody to treat your child that way. That is just crazy to me. Cause I tell you right now, I will go to jail if I find out somebody had laid a hand on one of my children. Any one of them. Anyone, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I don't, I don't play them types of games. That's just crazy to me. That's that's ridiculous. And then I was watching a video and I seen where this little this boy, um, I believe he was a teenager, evil way, he committed suicide online. Okay, no, I'm not blaming the people that watched him. But if you have someone online that you see saying they're gonna commit suicide, they're taking pills, you're gonna watch them for eight hours before you do something to call the police so what if he act like the boy that, call, that cried wolf who cares if he say he's going to kill himself then you need to contact somebody if you know him contact his parents let his parents sit up there contact his sister contact somebody and tell him that the boy is sitting up there saying he's going to commit suicide but you let him sit there for eight hours and you like and you watch him <laughs> for eight hours and then you say oh i think i better call somebody i mean come on people i mean really and then the guy, the black guy was saying, I don't even remember what his name is, some kind of crazy name, talking about we need to get rid of all the white people in the world. That, I mean, what is that going to solve? Okay? Yes, years ago, they didn't like us, and some of us don't, some of them don't like us now. But what the hell is going to, what are they going to do about it? They ain't going to get rid of us. They can try. But everybody isn't like that. So, how can you blame everybody from things that went on in past life? I, I don't, I don't, I don't really just don't get it. I mean, why people can't get along these days? I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I mean, it's just ridiculous to me. I mean, it's just just crazy to me. I mean, I, I don't I don't know. I mean, can somebody tell me why people are acting this way? Okay. Do anybody go to church anymore? Some yeah, y'all need to go to church. You need to pray. That's what you need to do. You need to pray. Okay. And get yourself together. Okay. Ask God to look at you. Stop looking at other people and what other people are doing. Okay. I pray that God blesses all of you that they hate that that hate people. Beating up on people, beating up on children, killing yourself. Come on, people. We are better people than that. All of us are together. We are better people than that. We can do so much better. There's more positive things that we could be doing in our lives, more positive things that we could be showing the younger generation that they could be doing with their lives. If they, all they see us doing is hating and all the violence, then that's what they're going to do, people. We got children that want to raise. You can't tell them, you need to act like this and you need to be doing this. If you're doing the opposite, think about the children. I mean, really, think about your kids, okay? They love you, but if they see you doing those things, they're going to do the same thing. And for our children, we really, really, really need to think about what's really going on in life and do better. At least try. Try to do better. If you're going to tell them to try to do better, you try to do I'm trying to do better with myself. I'm not perfect. I had my wild, crazy days. I've had days where I'm just angry. And most time when I'm angry, I try to stay to myself because I know sometimes I can have a bad attitude. But I also try to keep that under control too because I have an older child. I have three children. And the oldest one, sometimes he gets a little angry over different things that go on in his life as a kid and him trying to grow up and become a man. And I can't teach him how to be a man, but I can teach him how a woman would like to be treated. Okay? So that's what I try to teach him. Now, I have a brother. I have uncles and cousins and friends, male friends that 
can talk to him and I always get them to talk to him and you know to make sure that he is doing what he's supposed to be doing and like last year he was on the wrong road he was out here doing things he wasn't supposed to be doing his grades was horrible but this year he's proud of himself okay he's doing it for himself he had to stay he I was going to keep him back to that grade no he kept his own self back when he heard that he kept his own self back and I didn't do it he was about to cry now he is doing better now he did get two E's on his intern report, but he also brought home a paper the other day. He's like, look, mom, I got to be, you know, I did a triple mentor report, but now my teacher wrote a letter. I got to be, and he's doing better for himself, and he knows it. He wants to because he don't want to be in tenth grade. He wants to be in eleventh grade where he belongs. So he's working hard to do it, and I'm pushing him, and I'm telling him, no matter what he wants to do in life, I am behind him 100 percent. People, be about your business. Be positive. We have children out here that need somebody that needs to be positive towards them. Okay, just just think about it. You know what I mean? I'm I'm no one. I'm I'm just telling you how I feel, and this is how I'm feeling right now. And let me know how you feel. Leave me a comment. Rate me. Whatever you want to do. Say what you want to say. But I really believe that we need to be more positive for our young people.